Yes, yes, yes. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Well, I've got Dan Hain on the line with me today. Hey, Dan. Hey, Cheryl. It's great great to be got once again. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad that you are on the show today. I'm going to try this volume one more time and see. But how are you today? Oh, we're doing just great. Doing just great. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. You still got a lot of snow in Spokane Valley, Washington? Yeah, we're still snow covered, uh, but it's beginning to melt. We've had several days of 35 to 40 degree weather. Uh, look, Ho, oh, we got bling there. That's all right. <laughs> but anyway, it's starting to melt a little bit, and it's... Uh, <clears throat> Still still looking really nice out here. We're glad to be here. Glad to be alive in this season that God's pouring out on the earth right now. Amen. It's good to be alive. Well, let's see. Where are we uh Where are we uh at today? Number 7? Yeah, we made it all the way up to trait number 7. So, for those of you who are uh that haven't tuned in recently, what we're doing is going through my article, 23 Traits of the End Time Generation. And we're covering one trait per week. And we're up to um, trait or characteristic number seven. Now, you can go to my website, dhmissions.com, and um, uh, you'll find an articles button at the top of the page. Click that articles button. It'll take you to an articles index and the first article that you see in the index will be 23 traits of the end time generation. You can look at it right there, or you can download it as a PDF, download it as a Word document, whatever works for you. And then uh, you can follow right along with this, and you can even study ahead if you want. Okay, that sounds good. But anyway, let's get into step number seven, point number seven. And this is a short one, but it's a powerful one. It goes okay. like this. When anyone else sees a pile of dead bones, this generation sees a mighty army. Mm. Okay. I, I, I felt that one. <laughs> <laughs> a mighty army. Who does that remind us of in the Bible? Well, of course, uh, I was reminded of um, the dry bones uh, section of Scripture. It's found in Ezekiel 37, when yeah. when God took Ezekiel by a vision into this place called the Valley of Dry Bones. And so it's, it's a valley full of death, is what that is. And so God asked Ezekiel, is it possible for these bones to live? Mm -hmm. and, and it just seemed like a real big one, a, a real big question for Ezekiel to answer. It just seemed like an impossible task. And so Ezekiel answered... Uh, he left the back door open and kept things safe in his response to God. And he said, well, you know if they can live, God, you know. And you know what? It's just like that song that you played at the beginning of the broadcast. If God can't do it, no one can, was one of the lines in that song. Exactly. And, yeah. and I want to tell you, God can do it. It doesn't matter how big the challenge is. It doesn't matter how big your mountain is. God is fully able to move that mountain and to change that situation for the better. And he, yeah. want, he wants to do that, too, you know. Right. So anyway, God came back and said to Ezekiel, I want you to speak to these bones and, and tell them to live. And mm -hmm. Ezekiel did that. And then flesh began appearing on the bones and, uh, and muscles and tendons and so forth. And all of a sudden, a mighty army came forth. And that's the, the Bible scripture that reminded me of, uh, of this number seven that I read to you. When anyone sees a pile of dead bones, this end time generation is going to see a mighty army. Hallelujah. So the thing is, there are a number of people who have had dreams in their heart and they've carried it all their life. And yet the natural circumstances that they've been finding themselves in have been saying that this is going to be impossible. Um, Ruth and I had a dream about having children of our own. 
and we were getting up in age. Ruth was almost uh, 48. I was almost 56 when our son Josiah was born. And we didn't go through any kind of fertility treatments or anything like that. God miraculously caused our dream, which was for all intents and purposes, dead. It was a dead dream. And he breathed resurrection power into that dream. And I want to tell you something. If you have found yourself in a situation like what I'm talking about, where it just seems like too much water has gone over the dam and your dream is not going to come to pass, there's something very significant uh, that happens in the kingdom of God. And what that significant thing is, is that your dream does not have an expiration date. Yeah, that's good. That's good. (laughs) It doesn't. It doesn't. Glory to God. And (laughs) so I'm thankful for that. There is no expiration date on your dream. And if God promised it, if God said it, he's going to bring it to pass. Ask Abraham. Ask Sarah. Yeah. Ask Dan. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I can relate with Abraham and Sarah to a certain extent. But, boy, they were virtually twice the age that Ruth and I were. Oh my goodness, can you imagine that? My mother is um, looking at coming into her 96th birthday this April. And and can you imagine someone of that age bearing a child for the first time? Oh my goodness. And that's what happened in Abraham and Sarah's life. It was truly... You should not look at um, our outward circumstances. Absolutely. You You should look at and have faith in the God who promised so if you, sir, are, are older, if you, ma'am, are older and you feel as if, well, this is never going to happen, well, it will happen and God will bring it to pass. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. <laughs> yeah, there's a Bible scripture that says all of the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Amen. So, glory, let's, let's just work on that yes and amen part. And uh, and just walk in the word of that, you know. <laughs> right, exactly. Did you catch that? I um, that. Brett will be thrilled that you. <laughs> yeah, he was tossing a few of those uh, what he calls shameless plugs out there last week, and uh, I, I came under conviction. I wasn't throwing enough shameless plugs out there myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go, Brett. <laughs> Got you back. So, uh, any anyway. generation will look at. They're, they're going to look at a pile of dead bones, dreams that have just died and, and just looked absolutely impossible to come into fulfillment, and they're going to see that as a mighty army. They're going to see the flesh and the uh, muscles and the nerves and the ligaments and the tendons come and, and begin appearing on these dry bones of these dead dreams that have have in the natural no chance of coming to pass but god but god is greater than all of that (laughs) hey uh, i wanted to uh get into something here a lot of times dreams wind up in a state of um of death or dormancy what like what we're talking about because Mm -hmm. um someone who has a father uh, that father doesn't know how to speak life to their children's vision. Or they can have a spiritual father that doesn't really have a grasp on speaking life to their spiritual vision either. So I, what I want to do is take a couple minutes and speak life to people's visions, to speak to their destiny and their calling. And, wow. um, and this comes from chapter 10 of my book, Keys to Your Future. Now, my book will tell you how to take the mystery. It shows you how to take the mystery out of discovering what your calling is mm-hmm. and how to apply God's purpose to walking in and toward your destiny. And so in chapter 10 is called Activate. And so I want to speak words of activation um, concerning your dream that may be laying there dormant. It may be in a state of death, actually, but we're going to speak some life to that. Uh, There was a British author, George Eliot, who had a quote that says, it's never too late to be what you might have been. I like that. 
that that one just rings the bell with me. And so anyway, just remember as I read through this, as I speak over your vision, that words have creative power wrapped around them. And I believe that the power of the words that I speak in the next few minutes are going to make a difference in your situation. So right now, I call your spirit forward to receive blessing and affirmation from your heavenly father. God has always had a David who could slay giants. He's always had a Noah who could successfully navigate through devastating floods. He's always had a Solomon who could lead nations into historic prosperity. He's always had a Gideon who could lead small numbers of people into doing enormous conquests. Now God has called upon you for such a time as this. You are not a mistake. I want to say that again. You are not a mistake. Not a mistake. Not a mistake at all. You are an important, valuable person. The fingerprint of God is on every part of your life. You were born at the right time, and you were created for a specific purpose to be carried out at this exact time. You can hear God. You can understand his ways. You can understand his plan for your life, and you have the ability to respond. You have been equipped by God himself to be able to accomplish the impossible, to overtake adversity, and to be a blessing to others. You have the spirit of God's wisdom and understanding. You realize who Jesus is in you, and you can release him in this hour. You are a unique individual who has, who was handcrafted in a distinctive, unique way by God himself. You are skilled at what you do. You are the only one who can do what you do the way you do it, and you are the only one who can impact certain individuals. I bless you with the favor of God, and I bless you with favor with mankind. I bless you with friendships, relationships, and mentors that you need to fulfill your purpose. I bless you with revelation from God and the opportunity to express that revelation in your world. I bless you with the ability to walk out God's plan for your life. You shall fulfill your destiny in Christ Jesus. It shall come to pass. I bless you with the ability to acquire and secure provision as you take each step toward your destiny. I bless you with the ability to be unhindered by your past mistakes and to be made better as a result of learning from them. Your past does not limit your future. Because of the righteousness of Christ, you have the capacity to walk in flawless character. You can walk with integrity that is beyond reproach. Everyone in your world is influenced by your example. You are a connecting point to the eternal realms. You are blessed with a heavenly calling. You are blessed with the ability to have impact within your circle of influence. And you are able to live from the perspective of heaven and influence the earth realm around you for God's glory. Humanity around you is better because you are fulfilling your purpose. You have the mind of Christ and you know God's heart. You have come alive to your calling and you have come alive to your purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Wow. (laughs) We're declaring all of those things over our lives, speaking those things that be not as though they were. (laughs) Yeah, Romans 4.17, that is is a keystone (laughs) scripture in the Bible. That's awesome. And that all of that, what you just heard, is in Dan, Dan Haynes' book, Keys to Your Future. And this book is available on Amazon and all, um, all, all, it's everywhere, isn't it? They can, yeah. they can get it in pretty much all the bookstores. Um, worldwide. It's available worldwide in bookstores. It may not be on their shelf, but it's in their catalog. So go into any book retailer, have them pull their catalog up. Uh, ask for Keys to Your Future by Dan Hain, and they will be able to put a copy in your hands. Uh, it's an e- ebook format also, so if that works for you, uh, grab an ebook version of it. Awesome. So, Dan, how important is it? I know that, that we're, we're stressing that point today. How important is it that we speak over our lives the Word of God and speak, um, speak what God says about us and not our circumstances? It's, well, 
the deal is, is every person has seeds of greatness inside of them. Mm -hmm. And so these seeds need to be watered with God's word. Jesus said, the words that I speak are life. Life. And so you're going to be speaking words of life when you're speaking Bible promises over your uh, destiny, over your dream. And then it will supernaturally breathe the life of God into your passion. That is so good. Now, Dan, I don't want to put you on the spot, but I know you always ready. Why don't you just pray for those that are seeking direction and looking at a situation that may look dead in their lives and um, speak life to them, encourage them in prayer today. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up every listener, especially those that have been facing un unbelievable challenges. And uh, I speak to these mountains in the name of Jesus. Mountain, you move out of the way. And, uh, and I thank you, Lord, for sending provision from heaven. I, yes. I ask you, Lord God, to send angelic ministry to every listener in accordance with Hebrews chapter 1, verse 13, that says that the angels have been sent to minister for the heirs of salvation. And that includes everybody listening. Uh, we receive angelic ministry. We receive supernatural manifestations in Jesus' name. And I call faith alive in every uh, listener. Come alive and uh, receive the promises of God in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> name come alive ah. and receive the promises of God in Jesus name no matter where you're listening sir no matter where you're listening ma'am that's what I love about the Lord is he's everywhere at the same time and he is near you and he's as close to you as the mention of his name yeah. so call on the name of Jesus he will hear and he will answer well Dan Give us number seven again, and then give us your website. So if they want to uh, review or move ahead, you know, kind of go ahead of us. <laughs> All right. All right. So point number seven is when anyone in this end time generation sees a pile of dead bones, this generation sees a mighty army. Mm. Glory to God. And so There's the an army rising up. <laughs> There's an army rising up to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. I just thought I'd add that in. For all you. right, no problem, no problem <laughs> at all. It really fits. On the what? website, the website is dhmissions.com. Uh, D for Dan, H for Hain. Missions is spelled with an S dhmissions.com. You can click the articles button. It'll pull up the articles index. The first article article that you see in that index will be 23 traits of the end time generation. And help yourself. There's all kinds of stuff on that website that'll bless you. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Dan, we are making progress with the list. And it is a blessing always to have you on the Cheryl Boggs show, Resting in His Word. And we look forward to talking to you again next week. All right. That sounds great. God bless you and God bless the listeners. All right. That was a tremendous broadcast. And like I was saying, um, you, you, you could be facing an impossible situation. I mean, just an insurmountable mountain can be in front of you. But God's word, God's promises want to tear that mountain down in the name of Jesus. God wants to show himself strong on your behalf. So grab a hold of God's word, grab a hold of his promises, and walk toward your victory. Uh, I just release resurrection power to come, on your, to come on your dream now in the name of Jesus. All right, so I want to show you real quickly what DH Missions looks like right now. This is how you can get my book, Keys to Your Future, that we are mentioning. And what you heard me reading to you at the end of the broadcast was right out of chapter 10 called Activate. And uh, I, I tell you what, this is, uh, uh, you can feel God's presence all over that chapter. And uh, my mother, when she was proofreading this text, uh, when she hit chapter 10, she just fell into a 
puddle of tears because nobody had ever really spoken over my mother like that. And I know a number of you have never been spoken over like that in Jesus' name. And it'll be a huge blessing to you to get your hands on this book. Uh, Like we say, it's available from book retailers worldwide. Uh, You can have them open up their catalog or get online and pull their catalog up and it'll be there. And you can get a copy of it. It's in hardback, soft cover. Uh, it's in ebook formats. Get your hands on this book. It'll be a huge blessing to you. And then uh, we have a YouTube channel now. Just go to youtube.com, type in the words Dan Hain, D A N H A Y N E, in the search box. It will take you to my YouTube channel, which looks like this right now. The broadcast videos are there. Um, We give you so many just easy tools to use that will make all the difference in your life. And go there and help yourself. I also have all the videos on dhmissions.com. So you can go to the website if you can't get a hold of YouTube. If there, I mean, there are countries out there where uh, YouTube is blocked. And you can go to our website, dhmissions.com. And it's not blocked in any country on the earth right now. And you can watch these videos. Okay, and then also we have a Facebook page. So I go through and edit these broadcasts. And then I rebroadcast them uh, as a Facebook Live. This is what my Facebook page looks like right now. Uh, Once again, just type Dan Hain in the search box, and that will take you to the Facebook page, and you can watch a Facebook Live version of these broadcasts. Well, we're going back to the studio here in Spokane Valley, Washington. This has been Dan Hain. We will see you live on Facebook. We will see you on YouTube.com. And we will also see you at DHMissions.com. I want you to have a tremendous week in Christ. And remember that with God, all things are possible. And with God, nothing can hold you back.